the Pirates taking on the Brewers. The Bucks honoring the 1971 World Championship team, Bill Mazeroski, on his 80th birthday, no less. The ceremonial first pitch. He was the hero of the 1960 Fall Classic, of course. Milwaukee down 1-0 top six, but not for long. Long slide ball left field. Forget it. Brewers have the lead. Just that fast. One swing of the bat on the first pitch. And Carter's 31st home run gives Milwaukee a 2-1 to -one advantage now against Nova and the Pirates. 2-1. to one. Brewers leading the Pirates here. Two balls and one strike and two outs to McCutcheon. The pitch hit in the air. Deep right center field. New and Heist going back. He looks up. It's gone. And this game is tied. Andrew McCutcheon with a solo home run. His 19th of the year. Bases loaded. One down here in the top of the eighth inning of a 2-2 game. Cervelli sets up inside, pitches outside, and he takes it to right for a base hit, and that'll give Milwaukee the lead. Arcia's third consecutive hit, and Milwaukee's out in front, three to two. Hitting in the pitcher spot number nine for Milwaukee, bases loaded, two down. And a single in the left field, another run for Milwaukee. Here comes Elmore, and the play, the play is safe. And just to make sure, he touches home for a second time. And Milwaukee out in front, 5-2. to two. Well, he was called safe right away. I think the Pirates want to take a look at it. Cervelli not arguing. And the call stands. Call in the field confirmed for a 5-2 Brewers lead. And now, Flint Hurdle is going to come out and make another pitching change. Marte, by the way, the 11th player for the Pirates to make his Major League debut this season. Up the middle, base hit for Broxton. And Milwaukee adds another one. And it's a 6-2 ball game. The Brewers take it 7-4 as the Pirates tie a season high with a fifth straight loss. The Pirates lose for the first time in Avon Nova's sixth start since he was acquired from the Yankees.